Aloha to all of my young brothers and sisters in Jordan, uh, to my brother Siraj. I, I can't say enough. Uh, first off, I want to say sorry. Um, I received your letters um, and your thoughts some time ago and had planned initially to write a response, but it has been so hectic and so busy that uh, I didn't get around to that, but then I thought of a video response and it seemed that uh, Brother Siraj tells me that, uh, that you were happy to have a video response and I've finally done this just before you all are supposed to graduate as far as I understand it, but let me apologize for not having gone back to you sooner and please know that this has nothing to do with me forgetting about you, uh, to the contrary. It has more to do with me just wanting to do something really special and even now um, sitting here and talking to you, I, I would I would like to be able to devote even more time to be able to go over each one of your letters uh, specifically. Um, but what I will what I will do, if at all possible, is hopefully I will be able to make it to Jordan and and meet with uh, many of you at some point. I can't say when that's going to happen, or even if that's going to happen. Of course, inshallah, uh, it will happen. But most importantly of all, I, I just want you all to know that ever since I received your letters, um, and of course I've read all of them more than once, um, each one of them is, is deeply touching to me and, and very, very much, um, it's worth more than any kind of material things and money and all that sort of stuff which so many people seem to be seeking in this world. Uh, it's far more valuable than that. I have children myself. They're much younger than you, but I look at my children and and if I could look at you, I see the future. I, I see a better world. I really, really can't tell you enough how sorry I am as well that my generation and my parents before me and the generations uh, before them, uh, how we have failed to provide to you a world that is just and is fair. Obviously, I'm assuming that many of you, if not all of you, are of Palestinian descent. I'm sure many of you are Palestinian, um, Arab, you may be Christian, you may be Muslim. It, it doesn't matter to me so much, but of course, Palestine is very near and dear to my heart. And although, as some of you noted in your uh, papers, I don't have any Palestinian blood myself. Palestinians are my family. It doesn't matter to me at all um, that I don't have a blood relationship with them. What matters is that these are my brothers and sisters, that they're dealing with injustice, and that we, people of conscience, have the capacity to help make things better. And we haven't done as much as we're capable of doing and this makes me angry, uh, it makes me sad, but mostly it, it motivates me to do something because the world does not have to be this way. And I don't want to have to hand over this world to my children as it is because it's simply not acceptable. Now again, my children are very young, they're only three and a half years old and one year old, one year old, so very, very young. Um, but when I look at kids your age, um, I really am genuinely inspired, genuinely inspired. I see that you are not believing the same sorts of lies that, uh, that many of your parents, uh, my generation and elders have believed. It is only because we were able to believe these lies that we have been manipulated and exploited and used. Um, and the Arab people, the Muslim people know this all too well and of course the Palestinians know it exceedingly well. Um, it's only because we buy into the lies that, that we're able to be used this way and if so, it, it is very uh, easy to understand that if people don't believe the lie then they're not going to follow with the program. And so it is that I look to you, the younger generation, and I, I, I smile and I know that this tyranny, this injustice that we have, it's not going to continue on uh, forever. We have, within our capacity, 
to create a world in which the Palestinian people, uh, the African people, the Afghani people, the Iraqis, the people of South America, Central America, all throughout Asia, the people of the world, all people of the world, not just one group of people, but all people, especially the oppressed people, those uh, stricken by poverty and injustice and war, that it, it can be a just world. It really is truly up to us. And I think if there's any one thing that is the driving force behind what I do and the key to affecting a better world is understanding that we all are literally regardless of whether we have a blood relation whether you know it's a, a brother or a sister or an uncle or an aunt um, that isn't really what's important what is important is that we understand that we are brothers and sisters that we are in one human family and as, as I say this I hope I can impart to you that this is also why I don't hate uh, the people of Israel um, or the tyrants of my birth nation in America. I feel pity for any person who fails to understand the truth, which is again that we are all brothers and sisters. And if we are able to understand the truth and we know that other people are in fact our brothers and sisters, then if we are sane, if we are not totally crazy, then we have to act in a way that you would treat your brother or your sister. Now of course we all have disputes with, with our brothers and sisters. All of us do. And, and sometimes we have a falling out with, with our brother or sister. But at the end of the day, unless they've done something incredibly unforgivable, um, we will forgive them and we will come back to the same place which is love for our family. Now when we apply that to our mother and our father, our brother, our sister, our uncle, our aunt and then we don't look beyond that, um, that's, that's how a lot of people from where I come, America, that's how they are. And that's why they don't care about Palestinians or even if they do care they're not going to risk a whole lot for the Palestinian people because they don't see them really as a brother or a sister. Well I do. And that really is the reason why I do what I do. Now I also want to say that actually I know a little bit about Islam and there's so many beautiful things within Islam and so many Muslims who I respect so so very much. Brother Malcolm X uh, I love this man probably as much as any person who's ever lived, uh, a true Muslim. And uh, one of the things that he said, and he's not the only one, was that um, any good things that, that I may have done in my life, uh, I will attribute to Allah. And I'd like to qualify that as well and also give great credit to my mother, um, the love that she gave me the uh, strength she had to allow me to explore and make many mistakes. All of this was such a tremendous blessing. So any good thing I've ever done, I will attribute to the blessings of the love that I received from my mother and to God. Um, any mistakes that I've made, well, I will have to take responsibility for that. But the good things that I've done in my life are really all about the blessings that I've had. And I just don't understand how a person like myself could be so blessed. I've lived a beautiful life. I've lived in Hawaii and paradise. I've swam with dolphins and turtles. I've traveled to many parts of the world and met many beautiful people. I have experienced things that so few people have the blessing to experience. And in all these blessings, I feel an obligation to try and give something back. And I think this is a healthy way to look at life. Even if you are not so blessed, there are blessings in our lives. And if we take stock in those blessings, if we see others as we see ourselves, if we see them as our brothers and sisters in our human family, then we're bound to be good people. And whether or not we end up on television or you know people know about us, whether we're supposedly famous or public figures, that's not the issue. And believe you me, it doesn't matter to me at all that I've been on television. For me, being on television is merely an opportunity 
to try and express the truth to the best of my ability. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. And in a better world, I have no intentions of being in front of the camera and uh, being on television. I really have no interest in that. I'd really like to spend more time with my family, my direct family, and um, give to them what, what they deserve, to be the husband that, that I really respect and the father that, that I really respect, and be able to balance that with my love for my extended human family, my Hawaiian brothers and sisters, my Palestinian brothers and sisters, African, Iraqi, Afghani, uh, all of my brothers and sisters. If I can find the balance between that work which I have done in the public realm and my immediate family, I, I will be the most blessed man that can be imagined. And I am so blessed by the loving, kind, and supportive words that so many of you have expressed. I love you. I genuinely do. I respect you very, very much. I'm inspired by you. And if I am blessed all the more, I hope to meet with you someday. But either way, just know this. I am your brother. And what I do, I do for you, for me, and for all the good people of this world. And if I have my way, if we have our way, inshallah, and I do know for sure that it is God's will that we do our best. And those will be the parting words that I say to you. Do your best. Be the best person you can be. Express your love. Even if you feel anger, take that anger. Channel it use it constructively. Don't let the anger take you over. That anger is powerful if directed the right way. Take the anger, transform it. The love that you have, use that. Use it and express your love and be the very best person that you can be. When you make mistakes, learn from them. But never let anyone tell you you can't do what you set your mind to doing, what you feel is your passion. When you know what your passion is, you're a bit young now, but eventually you will figure it out. When you understand, when you know what your passion is, go for it. Don't let anyone stop you. And always know that God and the humanity that exists within this planet is with you and behind you. It doesn't matter what the odds are. When we do what we feel is right, the rewards are immense. And there you have it. This is how I've been so blessed. And what all of you have done for me, my young brothers and sisters, is yet another beautiful, beautiful blessing. Thank you all very, very much. I do hope to meet you. And I say again, love to you all. Love and respect to you all. Shut up,